Hello welcome to Movie Musters. I Don't Die Easy, Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 4 Episode 1 Review. Whitney Evans at 9,000 p.m. on June 7, 2024. Updated at 9.54 p.m. on June 7, 2024. Are you prepared for the last run, guys? If you were unaware of this and were happily living without it, I sincerely apologize. However, as the series comes to an end at the end of this season, this will be the final Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Premiere. Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 4 Episode 1, They Need a Plan. Although I still can't get over that news, Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 4 Episode 1's excitement did ease some of my anguish. The last time we saw Tarek and Brayden escaping for their lives was a minute ago who, at moments when the two have never felt more apart, has come through for him time and time again. Episode 10 of Tarek Works Power Book Roman 2, Ghost, Season 3 We would have been seeing them open this season with a few people standing around a graveyard saying goodbye to Tarek while many men played softly in the background if Brayden hadn't appeared at the end of Power Book Roman 2, Ghost, Season 3, Episode 10. I agree to receive targeted advertisements and emails. Without Brayden, he was a goner, and throughout the entire hour, their emotions alternated between total dominance, confusion, despair, and annoyance. Tarek is rarely at a loss for what to do, but in this case, he was at a loss for what to do after first. Tarek's expression of sheer shock upon realizing that everyone had set him up was telling you that he's not used to others playing him the way he plays others. It was kind of funny to watch him and Brayden argue as they prepared for a Rambo reimagining. Their options were zero, and Tarek at least had a point, whereas Brayden would not stop raving about how awful his proposal was. When you have no money, many people want you dead and you cheat death an hour in advance, is that really a bad idea? Meeting up with Tarek and Brayden Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 3 Episode 10. Being Tarek, he would never pass away by lying down. His life was predetermined. He had worked so hard during Ghost's last days to have his life planned out for him, exactly the way he wanted it. He actually did go to that plain hangar with a few clips and a prayer, but also, gosh, he was so close to it that giving it up wasn't an option. Related, suspenseful scenes that left us speechless. Capturing Anya in an attempt to persuade Noma to sit down felt like the storyline of a Mark Wahlberg movie from the 1990s that has a 20% Rotten Tomatoes score. But once more, when you have nowhere to go, are there any terrible ideas? Anya will undoubtedly have a role in the future. However, she gave a sick introduction since she was completely unaware of the pandemonium going on around her. Though I'm not sure how they managed that ambush, Tarek and Brayden have tempted fate numerous times. It was a memorable moment in the history of the franchise. Although Tarek and Brayden were never in danger of dying in the first episode of the season, I like that they had no easy times. Over the course of the hour, they were put through their paces and forced to scrape, claw, and think their way out of a number of horrible circumstances. Sibling meeting Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 4 Episode 1 PG for 1 I Don't Die Easy. Though it was obviously desperate, Drew and Diana's half-baked scheme to abduct Becca was far more intelligent than Kane's dash to the Westons, thinking that after everything that had transpired, Brayden would be foolish enough to run home. After attempting to have their mother killed, Drew and Diana were experiencing quite different emotions, and it was intriguing to observe how fast Diana gave up on Monet after he had done her one favor in her life. She was saved by that good thing, but nevertheless. Monet has repeatedly shown that she will go to any lengths for her children, even if it means enduring horrible things and Diana's attempt to retract the decision to have her killed made Drew very lustful. Drew has made up his decision regarding Monet, and it doesn't appear like it will change. Diana and Drew will be pitted against one another throughout the season as they attempt to hide their wrongdoings. On the one hand, it's hard to hold him responsible. Gordo is gone. Pappy is deceased. 
and Monet gets to pretend as though the suffering she caused her children can be completely forgotten when she hasn't even told them what she did. Despite his numerous facets, Drew's dissatisfaction with Monet will always remain valid. Dark Drew Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Episode 9 of Season 3 To be honest, the entire family ought to be annoyed with one another. It is necessary to put out the poison that is emanating from those Tejada walls. Speaking of Monet, it was a beautiful touch that the individuals whose blood was on her hands were present in the purgatory she was caught in between. She was forced to listen to three men tell her everything about herself while she watched herself possibly die. Ramirez was all that was needed to make the point. Monet is one of several characters afflicted by the power universe superiority condition. Believing you are the brightest person in the room is the syndrome's key symptom. You might initially succeed in getting what you want, and it might work for a while, but something always bites back. Drew and Diana started their scheme because they were tired of the hurt, lies, and dishonesty that came with being Tejadas with a mother who made bad things worse. Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 3 Episode 9 with a Surprise Guest Mecca, also known as our greatest adversary to date, was speaking the truth, but who was Mecca to criticize Monet? He wasn't the greatest love of her life, nor did he serve as some sort of guiding light throughout their brief reunion. He may be upset that she dumped him, but let's be honest about our part in this, sir. Lorenzo was more justified in his anger. Even if he wasn't a very good person, he most likely deserved more than the hand he was handed. There was no reason his children had to bury their father the way they did. Monet, I gave our family my all in whatever I did. Lorenzo, were you killing me for our family? Mecca, oh, and leaving Zeke behind was entirely done out of familial duty. Oh, and leaving Zeke behind that was all done out of love for the family. Monet has always pretended to be acting in her family's best interests and although she may think otherwise, that has never been the case. She has always been selfish, vindictive, and more concerned with Monet's needs, wants, and aspirations than anything to do with the kids she gave birth to. Having said that, is she deserving of another opportunity to correct the wrongs? Who am I to pass judgment? Related, what does the future hold for Starz's popular franchise as Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Draws to a Close? Now that she's dodged death, she has the chance to alter the dynamics and relationships with each of her children. But it won't be simple, especially after she learns the truth. Always Prepared Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 4 Episode 1, I Don't Die Easy. And you're deluding yourself if you even for a moment believe that we'll get through this last season without her discovering that Tasha was the one who pulled the trigger and that Drew and Diana intended to set her up. If there's one thing Power Season 6 taught us, it's that the sins of the past will never truly go away. Given Tarek's lengthy history of transgressions, it was intriguing that he had only Davis to turn to while he and Brayden were attempting to determine how to protect themselves. Furthermore, if Davis is the only person in your corner, then he wish you luck. Brayden was never treated with much respect or affection by them. Despite their newfound kinship, he and Tarek sometimes seem to be treading carefully around one another. They're not the same, but we know that and we've spoken about the similarities for ages, so I hate to always compare them to you know who. Brayden and Tarek suffered because of Riley, but they did not experience a single significant event from which they were unable to recover. But Ghost and Tommy's fraternity and relationship ended the moment Angela Valdas entered truth. There has always been a rift in almost every connection, platonic or not, because Tarek has never been one to trust people completely. Episode 7 of Season 3 of Breaking Out Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Not to mention that Brayden had given up on everything the day prior. Following Brayden's exile, the two had a pleasant yet light-hearted talk. Tarek was waxing lyrical about what life would be like if they hadn't chosen to come into this life years ago, avoided prison, and peddled narcotics. See also, The Greatest Hate-Driven Couples on TV. 
sorry, Tarek's full of it. He battled for this life because he desired it. To ensure that he could have the life he desired for herself, he killed his own father. He ensured that Tarek would never live in a world where his concerns were limited to finals and females. Once Tarek and Brayden's heads were placed at risk by Noma. There was time running out, and Power Ghost always delivers action scenes with the ideal soundtrack. The highlight of the hour was definitely watching the two sprint around campus with Assassins and Kane and Effie following on their heels. It was a really classic power scenario. When it seemed like everything was going to bring Tarek and Brayden to Kane and Effie, Junior appeared just in time for him to be slain. Tarek, were you the aunt of Angela Valdez? Brayden, Angela Valdez, who the heck is she? Tarek, attorney at law. She was the bitch of my dad. The prosecutor at the federal level. She was the bitch of my dad. Junior Young, Young, Young. Brayden is upset in Power Book Roman 2, Ghosts 3rd Season Episode 6. A tiny part of me questioned whether Junior was being set up to be the one to bring Tarek down in the end, completing the circle for his family. But then I realized that everything that happened to Angela was actually her fault, and she never wanted to be saved, so there's no avenging her. Therefore, it wouldn't have gone over well to have Junior save the day. I still didn't think he would pass away so quickly. Given the relationship between his family and the St. Patrick's, you would think that he wouldn't have underestimated Tarek to the extent that he did. However, law enforcement in the power universe is unsurpassed in its cockiness. In that parking garage, everything fell into Tarek's lap flawlessly. And that was all they needed at the time, even though it was really just a ploy to give him and Brayden some time. They should have more time to consider their options now that they are unable to move merchandise as they won't have to worry about getting slaughtered every single second of the day. Now that nothing has changed but everything has at the same time, they find themselves in an odd situation. I Don't Die Easy Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 4 Episode 1 Noma and Obi Work Tarek bought them, so they're safe, but how do they generate income these days? Do they simply return to school and carry out what exactly? Even though Noma didn't murder them that evening, they know that she's still hunting them and that, the moment she has the chance, she'll take another shot to eliminate the threat they represent to her. Could this be the point at which Anya resurfaces? Tarek needs to figure out how to make Noma step down completely or divert her focus. He's now in New York City on borrowed time so he'd better make the most of it by coming up with a plan. Furthermore, he is unaware of this Detective Carter, who appeared in confession with a frown and attractive eyes, promptly offering his assistance to a distraught pass. Ready and Willing Tarek Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Season 3 Episode 10 The block is still hot, even if the bounty has been lifted. Everything additional you should know. The bickering between Kane and Effie and their subsequent makeout was totally appropriate for them. But because Effie is erratic, Kane will go into difficulties if he falls in love with her. Tarek, beware. She continues to carry a torch for her former flame. Related, 13 characters who accepted the dark side and broke our hearts. There's potential in this new Drew. In the hospital, he urged Diana to suffocate her mother essentially abandoned her to Hale and Uber on the street. He might be an issue if he maintains this level of enthusiasm throughout the season. Tarek was really disrespectful to Brayden before that, especially after everything Brayden had just done for him. But it was nice that he saved the day for Brayden and Becca. At the shooting range, did we miss Tarek and Brayden? Since they appeared much at ease as they prepared for their SWAT assignment. Episode 9 of Season 3 of Power Book Roman 2, Ghost Covering His Tracks. I'm sorry for Paz. She saw as Junior's ambition overcame him and Angela threw away her life. When all is said and done, will her narrative end up being the saddest in power history? Who is Denise now? Although I'm not an expert in power history, I had a hard time recalling any instances in which Denise was killed in any of the shows. 
Is there anyone who knows who she is? We are back. We are back. Given that this would be the final season, the premiere was quite good. In fact, I think it only gets better from here, so it really made me excited for what's to come. What you think of the hour and what you want to see this season, please let me know in the comments below.
Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.